Now here's a quick demo on how to paint skirtings um, when you're working with carpet. Now what, I'll not, what I've actually done so far is I've gone through, sanded it all down, it's all ready to go. I haven't done the walls yet because these are actually having a, a texture on there afterwards. So I've gone through, sanded it, um, pretty well dusted it down. Now normally I'd actually go around and vacuum all the carpet beforehand. I'm in a bit of a rush today so I'm just using my duster brush. Now one of the things you want to do, or really need to do, is when you want to paint skirtings like this, is to get the carpet away slightly from the skirting. Now what you want to do is use a scraper and just slightly angle the back of it so it's pulling the carpet away a little bit. Now this doesn't damage the carpet because once you um, go to vacuum it'll just sit back against the skirting again like so. So what you want to do is go through and do that all the way along. Now as I said I'd normally have this vacuumed and it'd be nice and clean. So once you've pulled the um, carpet away from the bottom of the skirting, when you're actually painting it, it's like normal. Um, you'd cut the top in, do the top of your skirting, then with another brush full, start well and truly above the bottom of the carpet. As you can see there's still plenty of paint there. Then use the back bristles of the brush and go down to the carpet level. If you use too much paint, you'll end up with runs down there. And then you just want to cut it in like so. Now another little trick is, if when cutting it in, you happen to hit the carpet, like so. If you happen to slightly hit the carpet, grab your putty knife and just wipe across like so. That will actually remove the paint and you won't notice it. So once again, do your top bit first. Then without too much paint on the brush, come down low to the carpet. And when cutting into the carpet, you don't want to have a lot of paint on the brush. So once that's finished, that carpet will sit back and you won't, um, you won't see the line. Now I thought I'd just add this in for those people that want to um, know how to cut the top edge in. Now what I've gone through, I've vacuumed, everything's nice and clean, and I've laid out the drop sheet. So I'm ready to paint the skirting. Um, I've already started doing it. Now painting the top edge is pretty much the same as cutting in any other edge. Put some paint there, it gives something for your brush to glide along, and then come back and cut it in. Now this is probably one of the easiest types of um, skirtings to cut into but I thought I'd show you anyway. Then the bottom is the same deal. Get some paint down there, use the back bristles of the brush, and get right down to that carpet level. Then always lay off. Now I'm actually using a, um, a satin enamel, so it's an oil-based paint. So I'll do that once again. Get some paint on there, come back, and cut it in. So that's been just a bit of a demo on how to um, paint a skirting next to carpet.